What's going on guys, my name is Joe, and today I'm going to be talking about Cinch Gaming Controllers. Uh, I received mine yesterday, and I've been playing around with it uh, quite a bit. And uh, if you don't know what Cinch Gaming is, you can go to cinchgaming.com, put a link in the description. And uh, basically they sell eSport tournament controllers for the 360, Xbox 360, uh, the Xbox One, and uh, the PS4. Uh, something that... Uh, to my knowledge, uh, their, I guess, competitor, <laughs> uh, Scuff, uh, does not have yet. I, I, for, from what I know, I, I know they have the Xbox One controllers and the 360 controllers. And I actually have a 360, uh, Scuff. But, uh, as I said yesterday, I received, uh, my Singe controller in the mail. And they're basically the same concept. Uh, you can customize them with trigger stops, uh, you know... The only difference, the only main difference, is that they don't have paddles on the back, but instead have buttons. And, uh, and they, uh, Cinch feels that their ergonomic placement, ergonomic place, <laughs> placement, uh, of the buttons in the back of the controller, uh, offer a greater, a better performance. Because with a, with a paddle, with a scuff controller, uh, when you're using one to engage in the back paddles you actually have to uh, push upward which can cause your wrist uh, to actually twist and quote unquote make your aiming your thumbs your hand move in undesirable ways uh, I've used a scuff controller I have a scuff controller I've been having mine for uh, a little over a year almost two years I think and uh, it's been great for me. But uh, I and then I, I bought this one. I bought the Cinch controller, and the buttons aren't placed exactly on the flat part of behind the controller, but more towards the handles. And I'll post a pic. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture up uh, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And they put them there so instead of actually pushing up onto a paddle, you actually squeeze the controller and by that I mean instead of pushing up you actually really just curl your finger which is what your fingers normally do if you make your hand into a fist your fingers curl so when you're using a controller and when you're jump shotting or, or, or you know uh, instead of pushing up and using your whole hand you actually just use your finger which naturally curls uh, inward uh, to engage into those buttons and uh, there are other differences that set cinch apart from scuff uh, one being price the controller I have obviously I, I customize it a little bit it's white with black buttons but uh I ran the numbers of a plain normal no cosmetic uh, cinch controller and put it against a scuff controller and the difference was only about six or eight dollars or somewhere in between uh, the total of the cinch controller came out to eighty something dollars and the scuff came out to ninety something dollars uh, which is isn't much but if you are a gamer on a budget uh, <laughs> those several dollars can can make a big difference also, uh, I know Scuff is, notor is notorious for taking up to two, three weeks to, you know, craft your controller and ship it out to you. Uh, I ordered mine last week, and it took about, I don't know, let's see, I got it yesterday. Yesterday was Thursday. I placed my order, I think, I think it was an actual Thursday the week before. So it took like an entire week, uh, and they they ship it out. I think it's like uh, two day, two day air or whatever. But uh, they ship it out to you rather quickly, which is you know a nice a nice a nice thing to have. Uh, it doesn't make much of a difference, but if let's say if you're if you have a controller that breaks down and you want to invest in a an eSport a tournament controller. A week, as opposed to three weeks, uh, can make a, a pretty big difference. Also, as I mentioned before, they actually uh, make 
PS4 uh, controllers with buttons as well on the back. Uh, I, from what I know, Scuff, I mean, don't quote me on this, but Scuff actually doesn't have PS4 controllers. I think they only, they still have the PS3, which isn't, I mean, I'm guessing, I'm assuming, which isn't as popular. Uh, but they do have PS4 controllers, as well as PS1, or PS1, Xbox One, <laughs> and the 360. Uh, one thing that I do, that I did notice is that they don't have cinch doesn't have as much you can't really customize it all that much i mean don't get me wrong you can you can customize it quite a lot quite a bit uh but uh if you put it against scuff in the customization you know race or scuff wins but if you're looking to invest in and these types of controllers, one, I mean, if you have the money, then sure, you can afford, you know, cosmetic perks. But, uh, really, if you're just looking for an eSports controller, you, you don't really have to uh, customize all that much. You basically just need your trigger stops and your your buttons or, or paddles, I guess. But uh, that's really all you, you use it for or all you really want to buy it for. Which is which is okay. I mean, it makes if if you want to customize your controller to the max, that's it's totally fine. But I know some people are on a budget. Uh, these controllers are rather expensive, and so anywhere you can save, you can save, and it's 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 great. Now I do have a sponsorship uh, with Cinch. I am sponsored, and. Uh, if you guys would actually like to buy a Cinch gaming controller, uh, for those of you on a budget, uh, I actually have a code for you. You can use the code word uh, "clockwork" at checkout for uh, five percent off. And uh, I mean, I want to be honest with you guys. I won't. I, w I won't promote a product that I don't believe in. Uh, I actually do use this controller. I just told you I bought one. I received mine yesterday, and it just felt natural. It felt great. Uh, and it's it's a good controller and so I just want to be honest with you uh, with my relationship to it, whatever sponsor or whatever thing I promote uh, I do believe in these things these things are great they're good controllers and uh, I am sponsored and everything is based off of a point system if you buy a controller using my code word I, I get say five points if you buy a t-shirt or anything else, I get one point and so on, so forth, etc, etc. And I can use those points to redeem them for controllers or apparel or shirts or whatever. Which in turn, as I mean, I guess as a thank you to you guys for watching and using using my code or, or whatever, uh, I can actually give those away to you guys. But, you know, obviously you guys have to use the code word clockwork and actually buy something. Now, I'm not forcing you, you don't have to, but if you are invest, if you are looking to buy a, a pro uh, tournament controller and you're on a budget uh, and you have a PS4, which, you know, go ahead and check out Cinch Gaming. It's a good company, they make quality controllers, they're great, and uh, you guys won't be disappointed. But uh, that's that. That's all I had to say. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Joe. Again, once again, call me whatever you like. I love you guys. Thanks for supporting me. Uh, as you know, this past month has been great with sponsorship, with the partnering, with freedom, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing where this journey goes with you guys, and to go on this journey with you guys. I, I, I just can't wait for uh, what the future holds. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Joe, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.